Change detection is the concept of looking at changes in data over time. There's a number of different ways we can do this, but looking at this example, we're looking at COVID rates for June the 14th, 2021. I've collected COVID rates at the zip code scale over throughout the course of the pandemic. And what we're going to do very basically is calculate a new column to look at change detection between June and the previous uh, month before in May. So you can see what we're looking at here. This is a quantile classification. So you can see these are in rates, rates per 10,000 people. So you can see there's a zip code here that has 36.5 for every 100 people that have had a diagnosis of COVID uh, throughout the course of the pandemic. So you can see where it's higher and where it's lower. If I right mouse click, click my open attribute table, you can see all of the attributes that I have here. So I have COVID rates for January, February, March, April, May, and then I have some going back uh, previous year through July 2020. These data were collected from the North Carolina COVID-19 dashboard uh, in, the, in the area called uh, data about the data, information about the data. They were downloaded into Excel and then joined using the zip code as the key. And so you can see uh, uh, you can see some of the information about these as well. I believe I do have the zip code here somewhere within these data. So this is the, the zip code here as well. But what I want to do is I just want to create a new field that looks at the difference between the June and the May, the previous May. And so what I'm going to do is go to my field view. When I click on field view, I want to add a brand new field. I can click new field up here, and this is my field view. This is part of a larger project that I'm working on. So within this field view, you can see that I've only selected those fields that I want to see so the data isn't, uh, you know, isn't too robust or too overwhelming. So I've got the you know dozen or so attributes I don't want to look at. So I can click down here, or I can click up here to add a brand new field. Well, I'll click here. I'm going to call this field COVID change. And remember from some of our work is that we want to make sure we have uh, legal characters. Me personally, I like to have them all as one word, maybe have a, a space in there. I don't even like putting spaces uh, within my attribute names. And then I, I have a, this is a COVID change. And the type is going to be, it could be long, short, double. Since these data are currently stored as a uh, float or double, uh, I'm going to store these as a float or double as well. So I'll store these as double in case there are any decimals in there. And then the numeric format, I can tell that this is going to be uh, numeric. And then this is a fairly new option here as, as well with ArcGIS Pro. And then when I'm done adding it, I can click on Save. And it's going to apply these changes. You can see it's locked over here right now as it's uh, processing these changes. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to X out, of, X out of this field view. And all the way to the right, you should see a COVID change. And so I'm just going to right mouse here. And this brings up a context menu. I've sort ascending, custom sort, hide field, freezer and freeze. I'm going to calculate a brand new field. And so it's called COVID change. I'm just going to use the expression type will be Python. And this is fairly uh, simple to calculate, basically because these are already calculated as uh, rates. So I don't need to normalize or calculate these as a percentage or anything like that. So all we're going to do is look at the COVID rates for 06-14-2021. And I'm just going to click on the field. And then it's going to put up those exclamation points to highlight that that is a field minus so our new change is going to be 06-14-2021 minus the COVID rate for 05-13-2021. Now, these numbers are always going to be zero or positive because COVID rates can't go down. They're cumulative or add to each other. So I'm going to click OK. And so we have brand new COVID rates. You can see in some cases I do have a null where maybe data weren't collected at one time or they weren't available at one time. And I can sort ascending, sort descending, you know, look at all these. And so we can see where the COVID rates or changes are highest and where these cha uh, changes are lowest. And so now I can run this change detection here. So I can go to my appearance, symbology under my graduated colors.
and I can click on my COVID change here. And I'm going to click on Quantile. And so now you can see areas which are increasing in the past month where COVID rates increased by the most versus increased by the least because they've all increased or stayed the same. So you can see over in these counties right here, and if I want to see what counties they are, I can right mouse click, click on label, and you can see over here, Green County, Pitt County, Lenore County, Jones County, they're increasing the most over McDowell, Haywood, Bertie, Gates County, they're increasing the least. So this is a, a very brief example of change detection where we look at changes over time. And in this case, we're just looking at the change in COVID rates between May 2021 and June 2021. There's more uh, robust ways we can do this. We can maybe look at hotspot analysis for one area of time, look at hotspot analysis from another area of time, and then find the differences between those quantitatively using these bins. But this one's fairly straightforward using calculation of two different fields.